So you want to find some wild, shiny Pokemon, but you don't want to spend hours running around in the same patch of grass. Well, this video will walk you through a method to make shiny hunting more efficient. With a bit of practice and patience, you will be able to find a shiny Pokemon without the guesswork. Let's get started. So before we begin, I'm assuming you've already watched my previous videos on Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire starter RNG. These tutorials explain how to find your secret ID, which is necessary for this method. If you haven't watched those, I recommend doing so first. However, if you're not specifically aiming for shiny Pokemon and maybe just looking for IVs or natures, uh, feel free to continue. Here's what you'll need. In game, you'll need a Pokemon with Sweet Scent. Surskit on Route 102 is a great option, although it it's only a 1% encounter rate. But it is on the second route ever, so you know you might want to grind for that. Uh, you'll also need Pokeballs, of course, and very optional, uh, you can get rare candies for IV calculations if you're in the late part of the game. Now on your computer you're going to need Eon Timer and Pokefinder. Both are essential for setting this up. Now on to Eon Timer setup. First, you're going to open up Eon Timer and go to the Gen 3 tab. Adjust the following settings. Your calibration, you want to be 0. Your pre-timer, 5000, and your target frame, we'll, we'll get back to that. Click on the cog down here, and although you can't see it right now, you're going to want to go onto the timer section, go into console, and choose your console. If you are on a Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy Player, you're going to want to click GBA. If you're on a DS, you want to do NDS TAC GBA. Keep the rest of the settings the same and click OK. Now we're going to move to Pokefinder. Open Pokefinder and click the Wild button in the Gen 3 tab. This is going to open up the Wild Pokefinder window. Now choose your profile from the previous tutorial, i.e. mine's Dust on Ruby 2. You're going to want your method to stay Wild 1, your seed to be 5A0 or 0, 5A0 is for Ruby and Sapphire, and 0 is for Emerald. You're going to want to keep your initial advances at 0, your max advances at 10,000, and you're going to want to set your delay to 261 for grass encounters, and 268 for cave encounters. Now you're going to want to keep your encounter to grass, and now choose your location and your Pokemon. For this RNG, I did Route 102, and I found myself a C dot. Now you're going to go over to the Filters options, and click whatever you want. I'm only going to be going for a star square shiny. A shiny is a shiny, and star slash square only means that you don't care if it's a star shiny or a square shiny in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, once you have all your filters down, click generate. Remember that you only have one seed, therefore your encounters can be very limited. Don't go too strenuous on these filters. The Pokemon that I went for in this example was this this C dot here that had about a six minute wait time. So now I would take this 22675 and go into Eon Timer and slap it into the target frame. See, I have about a six minute uh, wait. Now you're ready for the next step. So in game, you wanna position your character in grass or in a cave without any moving or turning NPCs in the area. Note that Sweet Scent won't work at cave entrances, so you might wanna move further in. Now you're going to want to start Eon Timer and reset your game using Start, Select, A, and B when the timer finishes. So when you hear that sixth beep, then you want to click those. I tend to hold Start, Select, and A, and then press B. Now quickly open the game menu, go to Pokemon, and hover over Sweet Scent. When the timer finishes again, press A to use Sweet Scent. Now, if everything's done correctly, you should encounter your shiny Pokemon. If not, you need to calibrate. Now, calibration is extremely straightforward. So you're gonna wanna open Pokefinder. Now, clear your filters. That is the Pokemon. You can keep the route, but clear your shininess value, clear any of the natures, any of the uh, IVs or anything like that. Now click generate. It should give you every advance. Now you're going to want to scroll down to your target advance. 
Mine being 22675. Okay, so now look at the Pokemon you encountered. Now, you can use the details like the level, the gender, and the species to identify what frame you hit. If necessary, you can catch the Pokemon to check its nature for further confirmation. Once you determine which frame you hit, enter it into Eon Timer's frame hitbox and click update. Let's say I hit this Wurmple here at 22673. If I click update, it now changes the calibration. Now, you retry. If you're only one or two frames off, recalibration might not actually be necessary, but consistency will improve with practice. So the more you practice, the better you'll get. Now I'm not going to show it in this video, but it took over two hours to find this damn C dot. Now with patience, you will consistently find shiny Pokemon. The nice thing about RNG manipulation is you can choose exactly what Pokemon you're going for without method hunting in later games. This is an early game type of method hunting and it's all skill based too. Now follow the steps carefully and soon enough you'll be adding more and more shinies to your collection. Good luck!